and welcome to John's Model of Making. Today we got two more stages of the one on Lancaster bomber. Um, we're on stages 108 and 109. Got the instructions here in front of me. Now if you want to see this completed, have a look at Facebook. I uh, believe Robert Atkinson has actually posted, he's put a couple of pictures on Facebook. They might be under the Lancaster um, Facebook group, I think it is anyway. I have seen it and it does look absolutely superb mine is going to be exactly the same um, so you get a flavor of what to expect now it is the same scale as the diecast version that we're all building but that's going to be a couple of years off before that is finished hopefully this one uh, i will have finished this year after 108 and 109 there's only 16 more stages for mine to be complete plus i've got to paint it as well as but so hopefully warmer weather is coming and everything will be hunkered over for that so anyway let's have a look at the instructions here we have issue 108 the right wing aileron frame is assembled skin sections are added to the to this and to the left wing aileron frame constructed in issue 64 now i've already constructed this so we don't need to do that again obviously but what i do need to do is there we go now the order of this is wrong actually so we've done that that is painted here they've got the uh, skin sections and they've painted the in internal side but you need to rivet them as well now a lot of people won't want to rivet them uh, paint them and then rivet them um, basically I haven't painted the internal side of the skins simply because it's, you're never going to see it and super glue it is better to the naked aluminium and onto the wood uh, the stringers as well as uh, than the paint because what I've been finding recently is the super glue uh, the panel becomes loose and it takes the paint off and the the primer so where i can i'm not painting uh because you'll just never see it basically um now i could glue first put it all together then paint afterwards but you're not going to see it so it doesn't matter um now it does mention modeling putty now i have filed mine down uh so they do oh, i will be filing them down so they will look superb uh basically there we go this is the rivet marks they're not easy to do to be honest to keep them in line but uh, we'll get them done and then we've got the engine mounts as well this is the last one to be put into place uh, some of it has been done like this control panel but we'll put that together I won't be putting the engine in but I will put these um, frames on the engine mount frames but not the engines simply because they're too heavy and um, we've still got to put skin sections up on the frames so well the wing frames so i don't want to take any risk with it but we'll finish that with a later date and then issue under nine we're back onto the main part of the fuselage we've got some paneling quite a bit of paneling actually uh, to put in supplies these are the heaters the heater ducts the vents the covers so we'll get them done as well as again now this again uh we rivet mark them uh, and then we paint the inter internal side what i'm going to do is really make them not paint the internal side glue them on and then paint them i'm sure it will be a lot lot easier for me and there we go there's some more there we go so we end up doing that as well as and putting this panel on here uh, now the panel on the other side will be well i'll be fitted later on i can't remember exactly i think might be 110 actually but we actually put magnets on it whereas this one is glued into place the other one has magnets on it so again i might not paint the internal side of it because i'm going to take it off it's going to get scratched anyway um because this paint comes off quite easy sometimes even with primer on it's not always <laughs> your friend um aluminium but well, there we go so we get them two panels on it as well as well you've seen them there's another panel here so anyway that is it for it. issue 108 and 109 Old in 10 we actually put the fuse lines together with the main with the central spa so that'll be good to have a watch as well anyway let's get on with the build
Thank you.
Well, there we go, folks. That's issues 108 and 109 completed. Here we have the heating docks. Um, they're nicely glued into place and painted, obviously. Uh, the two ailerons and the um, engine mount, as you can see, and the panel in here. Now, this piece should have been 110, but I'm having problems getting the sides lined up, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't match there exactly so i'm gonna have to adjust well, that one doesn't either um, but it's down here mainly so i'm gonna put this piece on the top here first with 110 and then get the sides on because i think i'm gonna have to do some adjustments um, for this fuselage just a little bit awkward but we'll get there excellent stuff so that is like i said 108 and 109 complete i'll see you soon for issue 110 thanks for tuning in and watching stay safe see you soon bye for now